Hello and welcome to another video from Line Parallelogram and this time I'm going to be demonstrating how you can change the theme on a Raspberry Pi or for that matter any other device running Raspbian. Now here I have my Raspbian desktop machine and if I just go and open an app for example the calculator you'll see the window style is quite different to the default Raspbian one. The buttons up here are slightly different and also the color scheme is different as well. So let's get into how you get to this stage. Right, okay then. First things first, obviously you will need to boot up your Raspberry Pi. As you can see here, I have mine just the bog standard Raspbian theme. So let's go ahead and change that. Now, what we need to do is first enable the theme changing setting. So go to the main menu editor here and simply go to the preferences and enable the theme and appearance setting option. Click OK. And then you will see it appears in your preferences. So if we open this up and go to window border, you can see we're presented with a list of options. Then you get a preview of it there. So let's just demonstrate this one. And you can go with that. That's your theme changed. However, I personally don't think any of these are particularly attractive. So let's go onto the internet and download our own. So just going to switch back to our standard theme and close this and then open up the web browser. From here, we can go to the website, just going to copy the link, but I'll leave it down in the description for you to get to. There we go. And here we have the website. Now, we just a little scroll through, we'll see quite a lot of themes on offer. Let's just find one we like. Goes without saying, of course, that you need to have internet access on your Raspberry Pi for this. Otherwise, you can download it on another PC and copy the folder across. Might even be better to do that anyway, because it does seem to be loading quite slow on the Raspberry Pi. So let's go along, find one we like. Once we've got one, we can click on it and press the download button over here. That will then download a zip file to your SD card. So let's go into the downloads folder and extract it. There we go. So we have all these folders. Looks like this theme came with a couple of different versions. And we can just leave them there. The next thing is to go back into our theme and appearance settings, go to window border, and now click create new theme. From here, we can go to Pi, downloads, 
and just click on the one we downloaded. Click OK and it says a new theme was successfully created. Then we can click OK, install new theme, go to Pi and you'll see this file here called mayday-arc.obt. Click on that, click OK and then it gives you this success message and here it is in the list of themes. Click apply and there you have it, your new theme is installed on the Raspberry Pi. It's worth mentioning if you try and use a folder that isn't a theme, for example pictures folder, it will just ignore it. So that just about concludes this video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.